in the Western world in the 21st century in which we live, we probably don't think of mountaintops as a source of danger. But beyond that, we don't think of them as like a symbol of a, a place of danger. But for Israelite travelers to and from Jerusalem, the hilltops represented and projected many false powers that they would encounter along the way. Many of the pagan cultures would build their temples or shrines on top of the mountains. These structures represented the powers through which pagan cultures put their hope. Now, we might not think of these dangers as having any parallel to our lives today, but we can imagine and recall many of the dangers that would be our 21st century equivalent. Potential explosives that could be smuggled onto an airplane, or being robbed or threatened at gunpoint when we're somewhere, or being in a car accident, or falling off a ladder during a house project, or getting injured on the job, or if we're an athlete, getting injured during a game, or encountering disease that can't be controlled with current pharmaceutical defenses. Now, some of these experiences may be more threatening to some of us more than they are to others. And you could name whatever one comes to your mind. But whichever present danger is concerning to you, you likely take a number of precautions to mitigate danger to yourself. We use things such as insurance policies, extra training, increased protocol, increased safety measures, research, researching multiple warnings and side effects, compiling lengthy pro and con lists, consulting as many sources as we can find. It seems no amount of preparation we can make for such experiences can fully qualm the potential danger that we could face. Yet with all of the precautions we take, we can never guarantee sustainable security or safety. Yet that's what the Israelites were tempted to do by the pagan religions that surrounded them. They were tempted to seek security and safety and provision from created powers, from created entities like the sun and moon. While we can look at ancient cultures as backward and undeveloped and maybe un unintellectual, with what we know from our scientific perspective in the 21st century, the reality is that we still fall into the same temptation as they did. We seek our help, safety, and provision from avenues other than God.